All right, so today is the day that I get my first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. And I am actually very kind of like nervous-ish uh, about getting this shot. I'm just, you know, I just don't know <laughs> what um, people are injecting into you, but I still want to get it. And so, of course, the first thing I do when I wake up is I go to Facebook and then there's someone posting something about how we should stay away from the vaccine of all the days. <laughs> I've been on Facebook every day for like a while now and this is probably the first time I've seen something that was like anti-vaccine and it just happens to be on the day that I'm going to get the vaccine. So still going to get the vaccine but what I will do is that I will pray because uh, I feel like sometimes we forget that if there's something that we're nervous about um, I have a God <laughs> who listens to me. So before I leave this house I am actually going to pray um, and do uh, my devotion. I'm kind of running a little bit late uh, but not for the appointment just for something else I want to do prior to the appointment and I'm going to still go and get this shot and I'm just going to pray that I don't feel sick, um, don't have any real side effects and that I can just come out of it um, just with the shot maybe like a little sore from the um, shot on my arm and just go about my day. Like I don't have anything planned for the rest of the day so really it's just to get the shot, shop at Target and come home and just you know hope that I um, am okay um, so yeah let me get going all right I'm here in the parking lot of Target um, I have like 15 minutes ish to spare I thought I was gonna get here late honestly I was felt like I was running later than what I originally thought I was but I'm okay God got me here in time so um, I haven't been in this Target in a while so I just need to find the CVS um, I see the sign outside but I just need to find it in the Target I'm debating on if I want to get Starbucks first or maybe wait till after I my plan was to get here early to do my shopping first then get this shot and then leave just in case I get this shot and I feel sick immediately and I just don't get to buy what I want to buy here but um I, yeah, so I'm just gonna have to do the shopping later and just hope that, like, I'm fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so let me just go inside and stop talking to this camera. <laughs> checking in for the vaccine okay. yeah okay, just a couple things to look out for with this okay. uh, vaccine all the COVID vaccines really mm -hmm. our arm will be a little sore because it goes in the muscle okay mm -hmm. another thing that's happening with people is they're getting a little bit of um, burning oh, sensation in their arm it should go away in two days if you get it at all okay, okay. All right, so I am back from getting my shot and I feel okay. Um, my arm is a little bit sore, which my arm typically is sore whenever I get any type of shot. So I think that's just a given. Um, I believe I recorded um, what she was saying about what the side effects could be. Um, so um, I haven't felt any burning or anything like that. Um, I thought I heard her mentioning to someone who's there for their second shot that um, the second shot sometimes the side effects could be worse so I'm just gonna pray that that's not the case for me and I'm also just gonna continue to pray that my arm heals and that I don't feel any type of side effects I do want to make sure I have my Tylenol close by because there was a moment where I felt like I was starting to feel like a sharp pain in my head because I know that headaches can sometimes be um, a side effect for this so make sure my Tylenol is closed but at this present moment um, I got the shot at 10 o'clock um, it is let me check my time 1 14 now I don't feel horrible um, okay so I am lying in bed right now with my heating pad I did take a Tylenol and it's about 4 o'clock now and like the only update that I have is that my arm pain still is there um, like she kind of warned me about and I think I was kind of doing too much after I got the shot um, I shopped at Target then I went and I got lunch and then I brought all the stuff in and then I came into my room and did like a video so I definitely suggest just resting taking it easy because uh, now I'm just having a heating pad on my arm um, letting the Tylenol work because at this very moment the only thing that I'm feeling is just the arm pain so just an update 
take it easy after you get it. Don't do a lot of heavy lifting. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. So yeah, so that is me going to get the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccination. I know it's a little controversial, a little scary. Um, it's a little weird um, just because it does feel like it came out pretty fast. Um, I'm just going to trust God, but I am going to be okay. This vaccine is not going to do anything horrible to me. Um, unless it wants to give me X-Men powers, I will happily take that. I will happily take that. Um, but um, <laughs> I am just going to pray that everything will be fine and that, you know, this will be an effective step to stay um, safe and protected out here. So um, that is my COVID-19 vaccine story. Um, I don't think I'm going to put anything else in this vlog. This is just going to be it. And yeah, so stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, and bye.